the race back to space has picked up pace over the last few years as Elon Musk's SpaceX and Jeff Bezos' Blue Origin have leaped to the front of the herd of private space companies, serving as each other's competition in the return to space. Up until the end of last year, these titles kept on flooding news about the space industry, such as SpaceX versus Blue Origin, who is winning, could Blue Origin beat SpaceX, blah blah blah. That goes to show you just how neck to neck they were in the beginning. The situation, however, has completely changed this year. In the past, people rarely had the opportunity to put the two sides on the same scale to make comparisons. But now, many believe that calling SpaceX and Blue Origin rivals is like saying the New York Yankees and a Little League team are rivals. Because there's really no competition. Today, let's take a more in-depth look at Blue Origin's new Glenn to finally figure out what went wrong with Blue Origin's biggest rocket. The new Glenn is a reusable rocket designed to lift 45 metric tons to low Earth orbit to destinations like the ISS. It can also lift 13 metric tons to a much higher geostationary transfer orbit. That means the rocket compares favorably to SpaceX's Falcon family of rockets. The Falcon 9 can lift over 22.8 metric tons to low Earth orbit, while the Triple Core Falcon Heavy variant can lift nearly 64 metric tons to the same orbit. New Glenn will lift off from Launch Complex 36 at Cape Canaveral in Florida. Following the launch, the booster is expected to land on a moving ship in a similar fashion to the Falcon 9. The first stage is designed to support up to 25 flights. The booster, which packs seven BE-4 engines, generates nearly 4 million pounds of thrust at sea level. Bezos will likely have his fingers crossed that New Glenn can launch soon, with his long-term vision depending on a thriving space industry. That vision, outlined back in 2019 in a speech, would see humanity build giant space stations floating in Earth's orbit, acting as artificial cities. This would enable humanity to eventually expand out to a population of one trillion. However, the road ahead is a long one. The company's senior VP of the upcoming New Glenn rocket, Jarrett Jones, confirmed that the rocket's first launch would not take place this year. The comments reported by CNBC reporter Michael Sheets via Twitter were made at the Satellite 2022 Trade Convention held in Washington, D.C. from March 22nd to the 24th. The setback means that Blue Origin's heavy lift rocket will have to wait a bit longer before carrying its first payload to orbit. That means a less diversified spaceflight industry, the benefits of which became clear when British satellite developer OneWeb was able to switch launch providers amid the war in Ukraine from Russian space agency Roscosmos to SpaceX following a dispute. It also means that Jeff Bezos' founded firm will have to stick with its existing New Shepard launches for 2022. The smaller rocket that is used to send a capsule of passengers on minutes long suborbital flights. It's the latest in a string of delays for the rocket that was first unveiled in 2016 with the goal of sending crew and cargo much further into orbit. At its unveiling, the company claimed that it expected to launch before the end of the decade. In February of 2021, the launch was pushed back from late 2021 to the end of 2022. At the time, the company claimed that the delay was due to missing out on key Pentagon launch contracts to the likes of SpaceX and United Launch Alliance. Later that year, Blue Origin started a legal battle over NASA's decision to use SpaceX to provide a lander for its crewed lunar mission, a move that NASA's administrator Bill Nelson suggested could have something to do with the mission delays. The latest comments around New Glenn even suggest that that revised deadline isn't going to happen. For now, Bezos and the team will have to stick with its suborbital flights that started back in 2021. These smaller flights reach an altitude of just over 62 miles, a far cry from the International Space Station that the likes of SpaceX and Roscosmos launch on a regular basis and orbits at an altitude of around 250 miles. And all this is the consequence of New Glenn's delays causing it to be behind schedule. Much like SpaceX's next-generation Starship rocket, Blue Origin began work on its semi-reusable New Glenn rocket in the early 2010s. Jeff Bezos publicly revealed New Glenn just a few weeks before CEO Elon Musk's long-planned September 2016 reveal of SpaceX's next rocket, now known as the Starship. 
Both were massive, meant to be powered by huge new methane-slash-oxygen-fueled engines, and designed from the ground up with some degree of reusability in mind. But with fairly different designs and wildly different development philosophies, the paths of Blue Origin and SpaceX have only gotten further apart over the last six years. SpaceX pushed the iterative design process, accepting failure to go fast. Up to now, SpaceX has even built some parts of Booster 12 and Ship 29. By contrast, the general characteristics of New Glenn's design appear to be virtually unchanged over the years. However, only in 2022 did the company finally complete and test a New Glenn payload fairing. Blue may have also built and tested a partial booster inner stage, which the New Glenn upper stage will attach and deploy from. But the true star of the show, at long last, is an apparent full-scale prototype of New Glenn's upper stage. At a minimum, Blue Origin's first test tank should allow the company to finally verify the performance of New Glenn's aluminum tank barrel sections and domes under cryogenic conditions. It's unclear how or if Blue Origin intends to complete integrated static fire testing of New Glenn's upper stage before the rocket's first launch, but it's possible that the tank it finally delivered was designed to support testing with and without engines. Nevertheless, Blue Origin hasn't specified what it actually plans to do with its first New Glenn test tank, and it's even less clear why it has taken the company so long to complete one. While difficult, the methods Blue Origin is using to build New Glenn's primary structures are about as standard as they get for modern rockets. Blue Origin itself even uses the same tech to build its smaller New Shepard rockets, so does SpaceX, ULA, Boeing, Ariane Space, and virtually every other manufacturer of medium to large rockets, including NASA's SLS core stage, which is wider than New Glenn. The results of those challenges are clear. Blue Origin is nowhere close to debuting its next generation rocket, while com competitors like Ariane Space and ULA are tracking towards the first half of 2023 debuts of their Ariane 6 and Vulcan rockets, respectively. SpaceX, who is pursuing full reusability and really only settled on the design of its larger rocket back in 2019, could even be ready to attempt an orbital class launch with Starship before the end of 2022. Still, the long-awaited beginning of hardware-rich New Glenn development appears to have finally arrived, and it's possible that Blue Origin's first orbital class rocket could finally start picking up momentum toward its launch debut. And that's it for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoy what my team and I are doing, you can become a patron through our Patreon link in the description below. Otherwise, as always, this is Kevin with Great SpaceX, and my team and I will see you next time.